Hello, my wonderful weasels. Welcome back to the game cave. It's round three. Both Tom and Michael, Tom the butcher, Michael the soldier, they both perished and died in the wastes of the Commonwealth. And uh, one of them actually died beneath the wastes of the Commonwealth, but still technically within the territory. Never mind. We are in Fallout 4 Frost Mud with another character here, and we will hope that he will go the distance, that he will get farther and, well, live longer than his two predecessors. And uh, perhaps he will even be the first one to find a stim pack. We haven't found a sim single stim pack at all in, in the whole uh, two rounds we've been playing this game. So let's take the stuff that these guys have got on them. Let's take the lead pipe over here and the whiskey. Baseball? Nah. Nah. Don't need it. Then we will take the medics. We'll take the sunshine. No, we'll take the longshoreman outfit and then we will sleep in the bed for, I don't know, eight hours. We want that well rested bonus. So let's just move on here. I uh, I am not really certain of which way I would like to go this time. Hmm. But maybe I will be inspired later on. I can't craft anything at the at, at the station here at the moment, can I? Nope. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Okay, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Let's just equip this and that. That's the best we can do at the moment. And yeah. Let's just do one more psychopath comment on on this outfit and uh, and be done with this. Right. I want to check out this door in here. We haven't been there. Uh, it requires a, a key. Okay, fair enough. So that is completely impossible to to unlock. So instead we'll go up here, collect a few mines, and then we'll be on our way. It, it, it's, it takes a little shorter to to begin, well, each playthrough now that we begin to to know the layout of the land. Let's just take this. We'll wait with opening the door into the ghouls until we've gotten the mines over here. There's a mine there. Let's just collect that. Collect some dollars, some more dollars, some even more dollars, and another mine, another mine. And this one in here, you need to be able to lockpick pretty well. Unlock master, yeah. That's not happening anytime soon. So, with this, I think that I will just... Hmm. See, I went in here the other time, but there's just so many ghouls in here, your your health will just drop. So, uh, I'm not gonna, gonna do this uh, through there. I'm just gonna go the other way. But first, fragmentation mines. Oh yeah, you wanna make it like that? I just kicked your... Well, I kicked your everything, pretty much. Like, your arm is there, another arm there, a leg there, an arm and a, and a leg, and uh, one of them was even thrown all the way over here, so yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that I kicked you, kicked you all pretty hard. <laughs> all right, and none of them had anything interesting whatsoever. Never mind. I received some experience points and I've still got two mines left. These two mines will come in very handy later on. All right then, let's just do a little quick save here and then we will be off to this this way, in this general direction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I forgot to, to mention uh, who this guy is, actually. Uh, 
Let's just go up here where there's a light so you can get a good look at him. And we'll take off the smiley hood and look at him. Yeah. I uh, have decided that I didn't want to decide anything beforehand, but this is my character. There's one thing and one thing only that I that I have predetermined about him. And uh, that is let's see if we can get him to face the light. There it is. Yeah. A oh, little bit that way. Awesome. Now we can see him fairly and probably. Yeah. Uh, I've decided that he is a burn survivor, and that's why he's got the he's got the scars on his face. It was during the uh, the the well the aftermath of the bombing uh, and the bombs that fell that uh, he he was trapped in a burning where there was uh, there was fire and and he couldn't really get out of there. Uh, he has been living in in this in the wasteland for a while, and he has not been very fortunate. Let's see what what shall we call him? I want to call him Simon. Yeah, this will be Simon, and actually uh, that has actually nothing, nothing to do with his kinda Simon haircut. <laughs> but Simon here, he is uh, he was a da data entry uh, person before the war. Uh, so he's not really equipped for survival, but he's extremely smart, and he he uses strategy. He will be focusing very hard on stealth, and uh, and on avoiding trouble. If he can avoid trouble, he will do that. And stealth, if he has to do something, he will do it stealthily. So that's what we've got here. This is Simon, the data entry person. I don't know what the real name for for that is. I'm gonna find out when I'm when I name. Uh, the character in uh, in the well, I need, when I name this video when I upload that, and then I'll find out what what that would actually be, be called. But yeah, that's that's Simon Fire. Um, he's gonna check out this place. He's gonna know that there are some people there, and um, since he uh, he can see that they won't attack him. He's not gonna attack them either, so he'll only attack if he is attacked. Okay, they are hostile, but only if if he goes near their territory. So he'll just stay clear of that place. And with that, he will continue through this abandoned. Car. Subway car. Isn't that what it's called? Oh yeah. A lot of bottles. Take all the bottles. I thought that's... No? I thought I saw some... Some text here earlier where it said that I could pick up something. No, never mind. Toxic cocktail and the Molotov cocktail! Ha ha ha! Scissors. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take those because if I take those I can't run. Yeah, I know. Bad pun. I'll I'll try to do better in in the future. All right. And now we get to this place, and I wanna go in here and change a few change a few settings here in the quick save menu, or actually just change one setting. I want this to be on. Yeah. And then we'll move through the door. And already, uh, Simon can feel that he's uh, he's into that he's come into a place where he's not fond of being because there's a lot of people there, and uh, they are pretty certain to be hostile, which means that he's left with a choice: should he try to sneak around them, should he avoid them, or should he make a plan? They've spotted me. Oh, leveled up. Uh, let's just go in here. And um, what shall he level up? He's going to train his strength because he knows that strength is what he will be needing uh, here. And 
it's better to train his strength early on than it, and, than it is to train train his his uh, stealth because well stealth can keep you out of trouble but not always so it's better to have a solution when you get out of trouble and uh, that's what the stealth uh, the strength enhancement well, that's where that comes in so uh, I think Simon here would would ch choose to say that he doesn't have any <laughs> equipment and at all this it would be better for him if he would uh, if he could get some new equipment and that means that he'll have to take it from these guys which means that he will have to fight so he will equip the Molotov cocktail he will take out his pipe thingy and then he'll miss <laughs> I um, I thought that I had a uh, that I had a mine equipped so I didn't realize that I would throw it so far uh oh See, if, if he can just die over there, the guy with the gun. Guy with the long gun. Then we will be able to deal with the others fairly easy. So far, he's not dead. It's not good. He's fairly broken, but not dead. Hmm. Oh, oh, there's another one with a gun. There's more people with his guns. Oh, oops. <laughs> See, that's why you only want to. Well, you you only want to throw mines when you are in first person. Yeah. All right, let's do that again, shall we? This great, and then throw it over there. Man, yeah. The wrong fight. Did I now? See, if it wasn't because of the stupid, well, uh, mine throwing from before, then I wouldn't have have. Uh, I've picked the wrong fight. I'm fairly certain of that. Okay, so that could look like a good hit on these guys. I'm gonna change to mines and then I'll throw. Ah! I need to be. I didn't. I, uh, <laughs> I didn't see that there was a guy to to my right there. I thought that I had a little time to get away. So, yeah. All right. Now I need to be careful. I need to get into the role of, of Simon here. Simon says, be careful, dummy! Oh. Yeah. And that means that whenever the guys with the... with the guns comes out, uh, come out, uh, then I'll be able to throw my... Mars of Cocktail right away, and I think I just wasted that. That's too bad. Well, they're burning, but not enough. Okay. Fragmentation mine. Yes. All right, you guys. Get over here and step on the mine. Move, bitch. Step on the mine. Step on the mine. Yeah! <laughs> that was beautiful oh that couldn't have been better that couldn't have been better if i tried it oh that was amazing so perfectly placed uh oh uh oh Welp. apparently the npcs can change weapons i did not know that hey he's got a gas mask all right Oh. That mine fell down the stairs. 
which means that if he comes over here, I am pretty certain to be dead. Unless I can disarm it first. Only a fucking coward hides. All right. Let's just try it again. See if he gets close enough. Uh oh. He doesn't. Hmm. Okay then. Yes. I see if you only would put the gun away, it would be a fair fight. And I'd be more inclined not to hide. Alright. I've hidden a mine on one of his friends. Now he just needs to get over here. Come on, you guy. Hey, you guy! When you turn up, you're dead. Are you stupid? You saw that I was over here just a second ago. Time's up. Okay, now I think he saw me. Oh, there he is. Okay, that's just a stupid place to go. Hello, I'm this way. Yay! Okay, if you're taking a melee weapon, I am not going to be using my last mine. Nope. Ah. Come on, no! Yeah! <laughs> And uh, logic would dictate here that I wouldn't be able to use this gas mask anymore because, well, it pretty much exploded, but never mind. So, I've got a short pipe rifle. Ooh, and leather. Ooh, leather, leather chest piece. And right arm and right leg. Ooh, middle left leg. Oh, so I'm actually pretty well... Uh, what's the word again? Pretty well protected. That's what I wanted. Uh, inspect this journal. Huh, okay. Uh, fair enough. Baseball bat. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. Alright. Uh, 25, 17. I'm gonna stick with this. Right. Um. So, what should we do here? Is the last guy. Oh, I'm gonna save. The last guy, is he a... Is he a shooter or is he a not shooter? I'm gonna take the frag mine. And... Oh, yeah, I'm gonna equip my... Wow. I am gonna equip my little chest piece. My little left right arm. Right leg. These ragged leathers. My left leg. And now I'm, not, I'm only pr not protected in my left arm. So that's just awesome. <laughs> Awesomely amazing. Okay, that looks like a board, so... Yay! So I think that I'm pretty much safe from him. Did did I just pick up some ammunition? I think I did. I've got four shots for my pipe rifle! Amazing! It gets better every day. Right. So, it was a... a a, a good decision for Simon to to go against these guys. Yeah. All right then. Let's just see what you got. Show your face. Come on. Show me I what did. you got. I don't like what you got. <laughs> oh, oh, actually, I like what you got. <laughs> this is going well. This is going extremely well. Okay, the last one should be in here. Uh oh. You do damage when you brandish your katana. But I've got my pipe and that's better. Oh, well, technically it's, it's it's Chinese, not Japanese. Oh, 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 I didn't see. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, that almost killed me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're asking for it, then I'll gladly give it to you. Ha, ha. Ah! Whew. 
Okay, medical litrogen, liquid nitrogen dispenser. Fair enough, I, th I don't think you can use that, I just think, yeah, fair enough. All right then, rough gas max, Ga gas max, gas mask, already got, got one, of, one of those. Right, so things are, are progressing extremely well, what I say. Simon, I think you have a real chance of making it in this, in this, well, dump of a world. But, uh, yeah, baby. Maybe, baby. <laughs> Ooh, a laundered pink dress. Should we do some uh, cross-dressing, Simon? Should we? Nah. There's a time and a place. Time and a place. Great. What do you have? Kickball. Nah, I'm not gonna use that. Alrighty then. Jet. Long fungus. I can use those. Hmm. Great, I think that that was all for, for this episode, guys. I am extremely satisfied with how well Simon handled himself here in, uh, in this portion of, of the round. And what do we have in there? Okay. Did I... No, I... If I, I still have don't have any bobby pins. Why? Why didn't you guys have any bobby pins? Don't you care about your looks or your hair? Uh... Your hair. Your hair. Your hair. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm starting to see why they don't have any bobby pins. Come on. No. Okay. Fair enough. That actually makes pretty much sense that they don't have any bobby pins when they don't have <laughs> any kind of of hair style that would require a bobby pin. So. Fair enough. Fair is fair. I can uh, I can deal with that. Right. So I'm just gonna eat something here, and then we will end this episode. Dirty water. Drink. I am properly hydrated. Properly hydrated. Uh, and I don't have any food. No food whatsoever. All righty then. So. Thank you guys for being at the Game Cave. My name is Weasel Bandit. I will see you in uh, the next episode. Bye!